Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I wanted to do a look centered around my favorite fall color, which is burgundy. And I wanted to do like a silvery halo with it. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button so you can see more of my videos. Anything I use will be listed down in the description box below. If you'd like to see how I do this, thank you for watching. All right, so I did this one off camera. So I'm gonna show you how I did it on this side. I am using some tape just to make a really good sharp line and it just helped with cleanup afterwards also if i'm looking this way my sister got me this new mirror um and it actually stands up so i'm able to like look straight at something instead of looking down at something so that's why i'm looking this way because if i like put it here it'll be like in front of the camera so it's at the side but this will help me a whole lot during my videos and i really appreciate my sister for getting this for me to start this look, I'm using the shade Central Park with an E18 brush. And this is just gonna be the darkest shade. I am trying a new technique that someone on TikTok said is the right way to do eyeshadow. So I'm trying it out and I'm gonna see how I feel. Cause she said you should be blending from darkest to lightest and that really blends your colors out really smoothly and blends them together very nicely. So I'm going to try it and see what I think. So far it kind of feels the same as I normally do. Like if I just did, because usually I do the middle shade first and then blend the darkest and then the lightest in last. But I haven't really seen, when I did this eye, I didn't really see a difference in it. So I'm trying it out and seeing if it works better. Now that I have that brown mapped out, I'm going to go into the shade Jax. This is that burgundy shade that I really like. I'm using a Bare Minerals the blending brush and I'm just going right over top of that brown and blending it out with the burgundy. So like to me the burgundy shade is that kind of in-between shade and then last I will use the lightest shade. I'm just using this to start creating that cat eye shape that I like to make and just blending that brown out. I'm just using the brown to darken the corners and then lighting it up, lightening it up as I go out. I'm also going to lightly blend this inner section. I know if you watch my videos, I always say it, I don't like when my eyeshadow goes too far up. So I'm very lightly blending this up and like creating this little arch shape that I like. And I am keeping that middle section clear because I am doing a halo look like I said in the intro. So I'm trying to keep as little product in that middle section as possible. Honestly, I think this one's blending out better than the left side. I had some trouble with the left eye. Um, I first forgot to put concealer as a base on my lid. So I was like, why is this not blending out very well? Cause I use this palette and I've used this color, the Jax color at least, not the Central Park shade, but I've used the Jax shade before many times. So I was like, why is this looking so bad right now? And then I realized that I didn't have a base and like, I have like really veiny eyelids. So like the veins of my eyelids were kind of like mixing with the shade and it just looked really, really bad. So I had to like wipe everything off and restart, which I didn't get very far. I'm trying to make this very simple and only using three colors and really stick into the dark burgundy shade. So like I didn't really do much, but I was like, why is this looking so bad? Put that dark shade back in. I'm gonna go back in with that E18 brush with the Central Park shade again. I'm just like creating layers, slowly building these shades up. Just feel like it helps with blending, makes it look more seamless than just packing on a bunch of color and then trying to blend it out. Going back in with the Jack shade again, just blending it out like I did before. I'm being very light with this. So I'm not really trying to move these shades around too much, I'm just blending them out where they are. I'm taking a smaller blending brush. I did just take my finger and wipe off a little bit of this product just because I really don't like when it goes too far out and I was blending it too far out. I'm just taking a small blending brush and just kind of blending out that line that I created with my finger. Just really don't like the way it looks, like just on me. Like I really don't care what, cause I know a lot of people blend in kind of like a circle and just not, I don't like the way it looks on me. So I like having this like really sharp, like tapered look when I have it do my eyeshadow. I just feel like it makes my eyes look longer and I like the way it looks over my eyes looking more circular. Forgot to mention the palette I am using is the Jaclyn Hill palette, sorry. The next palette I'm using for the silver is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics 
Conspiracy palette. For that silver shade, I'm using a 213 brush and the shade name is Diet Cola. I'm putting that right on that middle section that I kept clean and I'm just swiping it, being very careful to keep it in the middle because this Diet Cola shade is very pigmented and it will take over the shades around it even though it's not very dark. This is a very pigmented silver and that's what I was wanting to go with with this eyeshadow. I meant to do this step before I did the Diet Cola shade. The lightest shade that I'm using is just a setting powder and I'm taking just a fluffy brush and I'm just going right on those edges of the burgundy shade and just blending it out. This is, like I said, the lightest shade. So I'm going from the darkest on the inner corner to the burgundy to this translucent shade. And this is just gonna help blend those edges out and not make them look so harsh. Learn this trick from a couple different uh, YouTubers and TikTokers, I guess, because some people do TikTok, some people just do YouTube. So I watch both a lot, so. I learned it from a couple different people. Definitely a helpful tip, especially if say if you put too much product on somewhere, you can diffuse it by using a translucent powder and it'll just kind of shear it out a little bit. Now what I'm going to do to blend that Diet Cola shade out with everything else, I'm taking that small blending brush with the Jack shade and I'm just going right on that edge and just kind of blending it out. Like I said, this Diet Cola shade is very pigmented, so if you're using a very pigmented shimmer shade, just be very careful because it will start blending out. I probably blended a little too much on this side, so the Diet Cola shade was starting to go like out more than I wanted it to. So just be very careful with it. And just keep that eyeshadow right on that edge and blend very softly, like barely touching my eyelid when it comes to blending this out because I don't want this shade to move too much. And it will if I'm not careful. And take some more of that translucent powder and just diffuse that burgundy out a little bit more because I did add more of that product on there and it kind of darkened it up again. My favorite part before doing the base is taking the tape off and seeing what it looks like after I'm completely done and seeing what it looks like afterwards. So I figured I'd show you that. I'm going to do my base off camera and then I'll be back to finish everything. I'm back. I went ahead and finished this eye completely so you guys can see what it looks like finished. And then I'm going to show you how I finished it on this eye. I already uh, lined my waterline and tight lined. I used the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean. Do this off camera just because it's really hard to do on camera. Taking the Jack shade on a 562 brush, I'm going to blend this under my waterline. I'm going to blend it up into the top eyeshadow and kind of connect it to that wing that I already started. I'm just going to keep blending underneath of it until I get the color that I want. I want it to be nice and burgundy underneath of my eye. Then taking that 213 brush with the Diet Cola shade, I'm going to match what I did on the top lid to the bottom lid. So I'm just going to create like a small halo under my lash line. That way when I close my eye, my the two lines connect. That is it for the eyeshadow. The last thing I'm going to do is winged liner. I'm just doing a regular wing. I'm going to do it off camera. Again, it's just really hard to do on camera. Something else I did off camera that I forgot to mention is the mascara. I used the Benefit Their Real Mascara. Moving on to highlight, I'm going to use the Diet Cola shade. I'm going to put it on my inner corner and I'm going to blend it just lightly on my brow bone. Just a little bit. And this is very, very pigmented. So like I'm using a very light hand. It's a very bright highlight. Using that 213 brush with the Diet Cola shade, I'm going to highlight my nose and I'm going to blend it out with my finger. Using a 510 brush, I'm going to pick up that Diet Cola shade and I'm going to tap off a lot of the extra and then blend that on my cheekbone. This is just going to help me from using an excessive amount of this color and it doesn't look like a big silver spot on my cheek. And I'm going to do the same on my forehead and tap off a bunch of the extra and just kind of blend it on the highlighted point doing the same thing for my chin and on my cupid's bow. Now that I'm done completely with the face, before I do my lips, I'm going to use the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte Setting Spray. For lips, I'm wanting to do a burgundy shade, but I don't really have a burgundy shade, so I'm going to do some experimenting. For lip liner, I'm going to use the Kylie Jenner True Round K Lip Liner. I just fill out the edges a little bit. So the experimenting I'm going to do 
is I'm gonna use two different lip shades. Um, these are both liquid lipsticks. And this one is Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Unicorn Blood, and this one is the Kylie Cosmetics True Brown K lipstick. I really like the light burgundy in this, but it's a little too red to be burgundy. So I'm gonna try to brown it out a little bit with this brown. I'm not really for sure what the end result result's gonna be, but I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna mix them on like this little plate thing. Okay, tested it out on my hand. It looks like a nice brown burgundy shade, so I'm gonna try it out. I'm using some kind of like liner brush to just pick it up and I'm gonna brush it on my lips. And hopefully we got the right shade. So that is the completed look. I think I succeeded in making a burgundy shade with those two lipsticks. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I like hearing y'all's feedback, so please comment down below with anything you'd like to tell me or any future videos you'd like to see. Until next time, bye.